And now it's time for the experts to meet our next contestant. So will you come in and sign in, please? No, no blindfolds. Just sign in right there, sir. John. John Anderson, is that right, sir? Mr. Anderson, where are you from? Uh, Bergenfield, New Jersey. Bergenfield, New Jersey. Well, you're practically neighbors to my friends on the panel. Suppose you take a walk down there and I'll get a closer look at you, will you? Mr. Anderson? Hi, Mr. Anderson. Anderson, How am I? All right, Mr. Anderson, over here, if you will, now, and sit down next to me. I wonder if you're familiar with our scoring system, are you? All right, if you're familiar with it, it's very simple. Every time you can give the panel a no, I'll flip a card, and when I flip ten cards, you've won the game. All right, now let's let the people at home and those who are here with us in the theater know exactly what your line is. Mr. Anderson is salaried. Let's begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Uh, do you uh, deal in services, Mr. Anderson? Yes. I'll be available to both men and women? Yes. Uh, you have the air about you of a professional man. Do you have formal training for your job? Yes. Now, this is formal training, yes, not necessarily within the accepted terms of reference of graduate degrees, etc. Yes, all right. Um, would you be considered a professional man, then? Yes. Do you have any title? Yes. Like king or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I want you to meet the king of Monaco. No, 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 I don't want you to meet the king. Do you work in an office? Uh, yes. In a manner you, of speaking, yes. Do you ever work in a um, laboratory? No. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Allen. Do people come to you for these services? Yes. In your office? You know, well, now, I'm afraid, uh, before we get misled by the office, uh, our guest has office, yes. Uh, he in a matter of speaking, it? and you can take it from there. But you mean he doesn't go in his office? <laughs> <laughs> or he only lets people in when he's not in the office? Is it the... That is, that is the way he sees it. Well, do you, uh, do you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. You do. Do you uh, touch these people at all? Do you improve? Do you, do you put your hands on them in any way when they come to you? No. That's two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, I'm curious about your title, Miss Anderson. Uh, is it something other than a title of royalty or nobility? Yes. Is it something other than judge? No. Is it something other than judge? Oh, well, I thought you yes. 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 Uh, you work for a profit-making organization, so it can't be congressman or senator, can it? Not That's a good sure. presumption. Uh, if they're making profit, we better learn about it right now. <laughs> uh, is it uh, either professor or doctor? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Anderson, it is Mr. Then, if it is not doctor. Uh, do you deal with some kind of uh, a substance, such as oil or some material that uh, you do your work with, as well as people? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Now, nobody has asked at all whether there is a product involved in what... Uh, Would you like no, to ask Mr. Anderson? Anderson the, I'd like to, but I know I'm a big fool to do it, John. <laughs> is there a product? That's the girl. Five down and five to go, Mr. Allen. Do you have anything to do professionally with animals? No. Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. John, would you straighten me out on the title thing? Did you or did you not say that Mr. Anderson had a title? He has a title. Other than Mr. Other than Mr. Oh! May we have a conference? Arlene has just had a meeting. It's a stun by a bee. No, no, it's wrong. All of a sudden I thought it was the captain. That's the government, so that's no good. No, it could be of a ferry boat or something. Yeah. Oh, yes, it could be. Uh, uh, are you uh, connected in any way with the sea? Yes. The sea, Arlene? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is he a captain? <laughs> Are you a 
captain of some type of vessel? Yes. Is it smaller than an ocean liner? <laughs> It's not smaller than an ocean liner, and it, and it is not a government battleship. It must be, per se, an ocean liner. That's right? right. <laughs> and uh, is, it, is it a ship that flies under the American flag? Yes. Why? Is it the United yeah. States? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. a ship that flies under the American flag, and when you see the United States take off in the Hudson River, it's glorious. That big ship goes right straight up in the air. <laughs> Actually, Captain Anderson is a commodore of the United States lines, but technically he is the captain also of the United States, right, sir? Which is, is quite a, a ship, by golly. I must say, uh, I had the privilege once of touring her, and it's the first time in a good many years, if I may say so as a layman, sir, that I feel we have a flagship for our commercial fleet that will stand up against anything that the other countries put on the water. <laughs> Uh, and Captain John, says she betters him, too. <laughs> John, don't you think we ought to say, that, be it understood, too, that he commands a right good crew? A uh, union, you know. Yes, a right good crew. And uh, one further statistic, because I think all of us as Americans would be interested in it, this is the fastest ocean liner in the world, isn't it, Captain? That is correct. There you are. See? We got the fastest one in the world.